So I guess to, to start, where, where will, uh, what does your summer look like? Will, how, how long will you go home and will you plan on coming back here at some point too? Uh, well, I haven't really had that much time to kind of uh, structure up the summer, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably uh, head home here in a, in a little bit and, uh, and uh, probably get back here maybe end of August, uh, something like that, and uh, um, just do do what I normally do to prepare for the season. If you have an opportunity to play in the uh, World Championships, is that something to be of interest to you? Uh, yes, it would. I would uh, like to play. By self season, John mentioned a couple times a couple of other guys who were only slated and probably coming into this for 15 to 20 games. Now next season, you could be the guy that's going to be relied on to play another 50 games. Does the mindset change at all for you of how you're working out the summer, or is it just you coming in the exact same way to do exactly what you plan to do? Uh, I would say it's it stays pretty much the same. I think uh, you, you always try to take steps, right? So uh, you just try to get better and, and put myself in a, in a good spot to compete for as many games as I can uh, for next year. You're, you're, there's obviously a lot of young guys on this team, you're one of them. Do you, do you feel like as a group this was a good learning experience to go through this grind, this stretch where every game your kind of lives are on the line? 100%. I think that's, uh, it's, you haven't, like, this is the first time we experience it for for a lot of us, and uh, just like you said, the the grind of the season, the uh, stretches where you're playing uh, every other day for for a month, basically, it's something uh, that I haven't done, and you have to kind of learn how to deal with that, how to uh, you know keep uh, keep your body and your mind at at the uh, uh, at, at the best level you you can, so you're ready for for those games. And I think we we got to play some like meaningful games here at the end of the season. And chasing the the playoff spot is something that we can definitely take some um, uh, to learn from and take experience from. Same kind of turning the clock back a, a couple months, uh, going back to uh, you know when when Carter was no longer available and when you were essentially given the the number one job. How did you, in the middle of the year, I guess you had the benefit of having that week of the, the All-Star break to do it, but how did you recalibrate your mentality to, to knowing that you were going to be the guy for a team pushing for the playoffs at the NHL level? Um, well, I think, obviously, there, there was a change. Like, uh, you have to um, be, be ready to play a lot of games, but I try to... I, I've said that throughout the year. I've tried to maintain kind of the same mentality throughout it all, uh, and, and I think that's something that has been important for me to kind of. It helps me push my my day to day, uh, just being to, uh, competing uh, in practices and and every everything. So. Uh, as most as I can, I try to stay in the uh, in the moment and not look too far ahead for preparing, like thinking I'm gonna play this or that many games. I'm just trying to take it one game at a time. Sam, how would you just maybe assess your your season overall, and what are you hoping to maybe build on from this year and improve for next year? I think. Uh, this year it was. Uh, I felt like it was some ups and downs. Uh, I think I've, I had uh, some tough stretches, and I also felt felt like I had a long stretch where I think I played well uh, consistently over uh, over a period of time. And I think that is the, the key word I'm, that I'm trying to push is, is is consistency. I feel like that is the the key for me and to, to be an uh, impactful player in this league is to, to be have um, your, 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 your low as high as possible and try to, uh, try to stay consistent with, uh, throughout the year and throughout all the challenges that a uh, season provides. Throughout, throughout the course of the year, even going back to last year, it seems like Torts has always been a real proponent of you and kind of really 
And as you know, that's not the case with every player. <laughs> he's, he, but, but, but throughout, even even when you were struggling a little bit there, he, he's, he voiced his, his confidence in you. Is that something that, does that mean a lot to you? Does that help you maybe mentally move on after a tough game? Yes, obviously it, it means a lot for me in, in a lot of ways. It's, um, um, he's given me a lot of chances through this early parts of my my NHL career and I'm very grateful for that and I think uh, uh, it's it's given me the the opportunity to kind of bounce back is what I've been provided and I think that is something I want to it's also a, a, a key trait to have is the ability because you're gonna have tough moments and tough games and stretches it's it's always about the way you respond and um, uh, yeah that's something that's big for me Sam, does, it, does it help then with after having that eight game the eight games and to have these last three games where you, you only allow in two or three goals and in, in, in or two goals sorry in three games does it kind of help you take the sting off a little bit and almost say to yourself like hey yeah I can I can rebound. I can go and you know. Does it give you a little bit more confidence going to next year? I I do think so. It's it, it helps. Uh, I feel like you, you could we can or I can hold my head a little bit higher. Like f throughout the uh, um, it was it was a tough tough stretch and it, it happened at a, a tough time of the year. But I think um, coming out of it and. We, we did make a valid push and I, uh, I think that's something that is also uh, a good experience for us just uh, knowing what it takes and uh, I think I, I've definitely learned from that. Thanks, Thanks, Thank you. Sam.